Many times we have bought into this whole idea uh, that it is wrong to say somebody else is wrong. In other words, it's not nice to say somebody else is wrong. Uh, friend, it's not nice to deceive somebody into going to hell. And it's not nice to not tell somebody who's going to hell that that is the truth. Now, you can be mean about it. I've met people that have told the truth and they're the meanest people in the world. And that's not the way of Jesus. That's not the way of Christ. But friend, truth is truth. And the fact is, is that Jesus Christ is the way, the truth, and the life. And I know that for a couple of reasons. First of all, I have the testimony of the apostles. And I believe them. You read the Scripture and you read the Apostle Paul and Peter and, and you read <coughs> Luke and you read John and you read um, John Mark and you read different Matthew. You read the New Testament of the Scriptures. One of the things you'll find is, one, that there's not contradictions in it. Number two, one of the things that you'll find is that it preaches the same gospel consistently. And number three, what you'll find is that when you're saved, God's Holy Spirit witnesses and says, not only are these men telling the truth, but this is my word. And you know, and He gives you an assurance in your heart that His word is true and gives you an understanding of the gospel and the scriptures. And that's something that's real. Friend, if you don't have that, then what you have is some kind of logical something or other. And anything based on a false premise can be logical. If you begin with the wrong premise, anything can be logical. But friend, it matters whether or not it's true. It matters whether or not it's true. And if Jesus isn't risen, your faith is in vain, you're yet in your sin, Paul's a false teacher, Peter's a liar, John is nothing but a con artist and a scammer, and so on and so forth. And we are in real trouble because we're still in our sin. In other words, if we were to die today, we'd stand before God and we would not be covered by the righteousness of Jesus Christ. We'd stand before God in our sin. And that is a real problem. <laughs>